So the next question says that an ambiguous change in price and decrease in quantity are most likely caused by A, no shift in supply and a shift to the left in demand, B, a shift to the left in supply and a shift to the left in demand, C, a shift to the right in supply and a shift to the left in demand, or D, a shift to the left in supply and a shift to the right in demand. And so we can uh, imagine this on a graph. Uh, let's put them all in line. We have a demand curve or supply curve. So we're seeing a, a, an ambiguous change in price and a decrease in quantity. So uh, what are we, we know immediately, anytime a question says there's an ambiguous change in one of these two, either price or quantity, that both curves need to be shifting, right? So it's not possible for it to be an answer choice like A, where there's no shift in supply, because then there's no ambigu ambiguity. There's a, a settled change in price, right? So uh, what what is something? And so we know from this question that uh, a decrease in quantity is caused by both changes, right? So how what change in supply would result in a decrease in quantity? And we know it would be a leftward shift, right? A leftward shift in supply would definitely uh, cause there to be a decrease in quantity. And so that will be uh, our first change. And the second change will be what is going to happen in demand that will decrease quantity. And we also know it would be a leftward shift as well. A decrease in demand will also decrease quantity. And so what we're left with is this point here. And we know that both the supply shift and the demand shift contributed to the decrease in quantity that got us to this point, right? So, uh, and then the, the, the change in price, well, we know a change in a shift in supply to the left uh, increases prices, right? It goes from here to here. And now we know that a change in demand decreases prices. A leftward shift in demand goes, takes price from here to here. And so whether or not price is higher or lower than the initial equilibrium point right here is determined by the relative size of the shifts of supply and demand and the elasticity of this curve. So we don't know, like in the way we drew it right now, we know that price is going to be higher, but it's possible that uh, if we just redrew the graph with different slopes or different uh, sized shifts, that the equilibrium would be in a different spot. And so there's ambiguity to whether or not price has changed, uh, increased or decreased or stay the same. So the correct answer here is going to be a decrease in supply or a shift of supply to the left and a shift of demand to the left as well. And so B is going to be the best answer here. A shift to the left in supply and a shift to the left in demand. Let's take a look at the previous answer. Previous answer said the correct answer is B. When both demand and supply decrease, the equilibrium quantity decreases, but the change in equilibrium price is ambiguous. This means a leftward shift in both supply and demand curves. Great.